Today in the crypto space, we see the market going sideways. Bitcoin hovering around that $27,000 mark and Ethereum still at about $1,800, give or take. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins, a mix of green and red throughout the market. There's some good gainers like Litecoin and Sandbox, but there are also some other dips throughout the market that we should be paying attention to. In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator, but today's video is all about optimism, a really good project, good layer one solution at the end of the day retracing to some good levels to potentially dollar cost average so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish we want to stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on that volatility and if you appreciate the strategy subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects that you want me to cover here on the channel let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description feel free to join that telegram group of course we're trying to post alpha on a daily basis figuring out this market together in a community is the right way to do it guys and of course don't forget if you want to join me live at 7 30 it is the greatest place to get involved within a community all right so let's continue here with bitcoin what is happening with bitcoin guys bitcoin is currently within that retracement could it be getting a little bit of relief to the upside before we continue down guys i don't know i don't know bitcoin right now is very very indecisive there's no real edge on the market and of course today that's what we want to try to do is see if we can get an edge we'll look uh throughout the entire top 100 list here to see if we can you know pick up a pattern or some sort of trend within the top 100 then we'll look at some charts we'll look at bitcoin and then we'll focus our attention on optimism i think that op right now is definitely at a good area to consider dca and of course we'll talk about the charts very very soon okay so let's continue here we see uh, bitcoin coming down ethereum you know kind of holding up looking a little bit stronger than bitcoin you gotta admit um bnb a little bit of retracement looking for potential reversal to the upside many projects right now are looking like they are trying to rally around to the upside in the short term so looking good looking good now if bitcoin does that and it leads the way great but if all coins do it without bitcoin maybe maybe we are in this all coin season where we can see some of these all coins pop up uh pop to the upside on their own look at solana looking pretty strong here up eight percent um without much of a retracement and continuing to the upside solana showing some strength in in comparison to many other altcoins right now xrp is also showing some strength not really even retracing just going sideways so neutralizing the bearish momentum right now and going sideways perfect perfect we have litecoin looking bullish as it approaches its having litecoin is showing strength of course 12 percent to the upside reaching a higher high uh local higher high pretty good there be prepared to take some profits guys trail up your stop losses protect your gains as well as your capital very important stuff when you see price action rally up this way okay so with this no matter what the project is make sure that you're prepared to exit at the right time so don't just ignore the price action when you're in the green that's the time to actually you know get defensive you got to get defensive so that you can protect your gains avax looking pretty good up approximately 1.3 percent you know getting a little bit of relief to the upside i'm expecting a lot of the market to get a bit of relief a tad bit of relief and then maybe a continuation down uh to fulfill some of those bearish targets before we get some confirmations right we need some confirmations here on the market right now there's a bit of chop action you know nothing really really um confluent with any of of any of the ta is a little bit everywhere especially the fact that bitcoin is so indecisive all coins don't know if they're going to start their season or not like xlm looking pretty strong here creating higher highs um day by day up six percent looking strong but generally speaking you can see as of now the overall market is um looking for a little bit of relief to the upside once it has retraced some altcoins haven't retraced for example quant Quant is still looking strong. Yes, it's down 1.4%, but nothing significant. It's been up five uh, over 16% uh, in the last little while. So bullish, 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 right? Up um, above that $100 mark, Quant is looking good. 
right h bar getting a little bit of relief to the upside once it got this little retracement but a lot of the market is doing that the graph is looking strong up 13 percent getting a bit of a pullback make sure you protect your gains i can see a little bit of a level that can be treated as an ice line if we fall below it guys we could be retracing that's why looking at the graph and looking for potential bearish divergence is the ideal scenario right now uh to be defensive on your gains especially if you were longing the bottom okay so look for trends right now i can see just visually that we're breaking a bit of a trend and we're trying to break a bit of structure by making a lower low so be careful here okay with uh the graph maybe we'll take a look at the graph once again tonight we talked about it yesterday but maybe it, we are due for a little bit of an update this evening just a reminder guys if you have any projects that you want me to cover let me know in the comment section below below and of course i'll put them on the list and we'll talk about them this evening live as well okay no no worries there sandbox looking a bit strong could the metaverse be waking up could be possible could be possible that we see the metaverse uh get you know a little bit of legs here um you know the, the sandbox decentraland all the metaverse did take a big beating we gotta admit it got it did retrace significantly now buying the bottoms is the right way to do it right especially if we get a retracement to the upside now i'm not saying we're gonna go to all-time highs and price discovery but what i'm saying is is that when projects are severely undervalued based on you know sentiment whatever the case may be fud whatever it is buying the bottoms will get you the, into that opportunity of being able to get into profits quick especially if you didn't buy the bottoms bottoms and you've been holding for the last little while so be careful here because i'm expecting that some of the retracements on some of these bearish projects that we've been seeing these bearish retracements you know eventually wake up and they melt faces and that's where you want to be able to appreciate those gains in those rallies to the upside sandbox looking okay um it's up 12 percent. i'm not saying that it's the best time to get in but upon any retracements start looking at levels of support and start dollar cost averaging at those zones of levels of support okay so let's continue here um optimism of course it's the project that i want to cover today op is the ticker at a dollar 40 we are 1.7 percent to the upside nothing significant but look at the retracement 13.4 percent retracement i feel like we could be looking for a bottom as we speak okay so this is very important now to potentially a plan for a an accumulation phase phantom is a very in a very similar retracement looking for a bottom trying to test levels and this is why i'm looking to a dollar cost average in both projects in fact but of course we're going to be talking about optimism optimism today okay stacks is another good one retracement a little bit of a rally to the upside choppy 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 you know this is the thing when bitcoin goes choppy all coins could go choppy but maybe some can pop to the upside and we get all coin seasons that way when you know all the all coins take their turns popping up so far we have a few chili's getting a bit of response to the upside very quiet project i expected a lot more from chili's in the previous bull run especially around maybe the world cup area when we had the world cup season guys i expected more bullishness but we didn't get it unfortunately pepe still retracing up 5.5 percent but you know a little bit of a retracement to the upside and then a continue continuation down possible be careful with these meme coins they've been you know dipping significantly um, I'm looking for buy the dip opportunities on Casper. I'm definitely going to look at that one tonight. CSPR, we need an update on that one for sure. Um, looking like it's uh, hitting a bottom, flatlining at the bottom of the range. That's when we have to consider DCing is when things flatten out. What else do we have here? Frack share, getting a bit of relief, but overall retracement is definitely there. Guys, so the overall consensus for me is that either we're going sideways or still coming down uh getting or in a scenario where we're getting a bit of relief but the overall sentiment right now is down guys just a reminder be careful with gate it looks like gate is getting uh, a hit with some uh, a fat layer of fud so be careful with gate right now if you have any um assets on the exchange i would consider protecting yourself by taking them off the exchange okay actually you should be taking your assets off of every exchange you shouldn't be holding your assets on exchanges okay that's my take that's the overall market i think overall we have some opportunities to both take profits and buy the dips and of course today is all about optimism but before we do that let's take a look at bitcoin 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 so far still within this consolidation area my chart looks like a disaster and i get it because you know what when you get chop area when you get chop zone there's a lot of indicators that start to you know collide 
there's a lot of confluence there's a lot of interest in these zones and of course we're looking at the four hour and i'm trying to figure out what to, what we can do here in the in the immediate short term but we are still within this descending wedge this descending wedge right here eventually should break out bullish statistically speaking however guys i feel like we could be getting a short-term bounce to the upside very possible get a bit more bearish momentum and then finally come down to the bottom of the range for me testing this 200 daily ema would be absolutely bullish especially if we get some support at this level guys i would be getting into a fat long to the upside and of course being aggressive of taking those profits right at previous highs why because i feel that eventually each leg that we get from bitcoin to the upside it, it will get exhausted eventually and then we'll see a bearish uh, move to the downside eventually so my opinion is going long at great levels of uh, strength, meaning at great risk towards ratio scenarios here at 25,000, give or take, is what I'm looking for. Touching this trend line and going long for a potential breakout to the upside with uh, setting a very tight stop loss at lower levels. Okay, guys, let's look, get into lower time frames here and see what we can... Um, basically come up up with for the bitcoin price right now we see that the daily is basically in a choppy zone we see that the rsi is in the middle of the um in the mid zone around 50 percent for me that's chop area expect to get you know a lot of chop action here in, in order for you to trade this type of uh, momentum you're gonna have to get into lower time frames and when you get into lower time frames you see you get a lot more you know indications or indicators of sideways more sideways and a little bit of volatility but with low volume look at the volume here not much not much volume no conviction no not much um interest right now to get into a bitcoin trade right that's the thing volume is is basically a measurement of market participants being interested and right now there is none right considering that today is june 1st the asia markets should have been you know really really excited and getting some volume into the market but it didn't happen why because the likelihood is is that they already front run the scenario we already had asia projects doing very well chinese projects doing very well in the last month um, outperforming many other assets what else do we expect what else do we expect right so you can expect that right now may be a buy the rumor sell the news event the selling of the news could be when the asia markets wake up tonight we could get that negative momentum so be careful set stop losses if you're going long you know take profits if you're in profits right now is a potential zone for volatility okay so if we look right now here on the daily, it is pretty choppy. I'm not getting into any fresh longs or shorts. We're in the mid range of this pattern anyway. And you can see the volume gap. We're pretty much entering the volume gap for a potential continuation to the downside. We did attempt to break below the volume gap to get underneath the volume gap right up around this level right um and we got some support randomly very random support and we got a nice bounce and now here we are let's get into lower levels on the four hour okay we can see that the rsi got very overbought okay really overbought and that began our descent to lower levels and now we are not completely in overbought territory just yet but i'm not confident i am not confident that the bears built enough confidence that we are actually coming down this wick for me is not enough okay not enough yes we did get class b bearish divergence right here that we did talk about on the channel and it was a very good opportunity to go short and i mentioned this on the channel that i was going to be getting into a short position based on this signal however guys now what i do see is the potential bounce to the upside um that we could get a little bit of a reversal to back test this zone at about twenty-seven thousand six hundred dollars, give or take, and I would be expecting a continuation down. This back test would give the bears the ammunition that they need to basically confirm that the fact is that we're coming down to lower levels. So be careful with that. Now the lower level target for me, once again, is down here. Why? Because the Fibonacci extension levels hit this zone, right? Fibonacci extensions. If we uh, take a uh, swing low to swing high. You can see that 1.27 is down here, which is a very, very important level in trading using Fibonacci. And I'm expecting that if it does happen, that's the zone where we got to get in with a bigger buy order. OK, and, and if we do get support, we are waiting for W's. We're waiting for bullish divergence. We're waiting for indications that this will hold up. Now, it's no guarantee that we're going to come down there. 
but we do have the bottom of the gap here. You can see the volume gap. The, the bottom is right here where we begin a lot of supply and demand to act as support. So if it does come down here, the risk to reward ratio is super healthy, super healthy to go long at this level. And I'm looking forward to that if it does happen. Now, if it doesn't, right, if it doesn't, we could get a bounce right now and basically break out. A lot of the bulls are talking about a potential bounce at this current level. It's because on the one hour and they're getting to the lower levels on the one hour we did get oversold and we got bullish divergence and we could be breaking trend and we could be attempting a higher high in even a breakout okay so be careful here it is very possible that we come back up to this zone to retest this breakdown okay and get it as confirmation of a continuation to the downside and then we finally fully reset and get down to lower levels okay guys so of course expect updates throughout the day uh, expect update videos guys i'm live at 7 30 in fact tonight's live stream is going to be delayed okay there's a good chance that i'll be up uh, i'll be live at about 8 30 i'll keep you guys posted uh stay tuned with the notifications of course if you click the bell you'll get the notifications of when i will be going live but today um and in fact probably every thursday it's going to be a very difficult thing i'm going to be attending meetings on thursdays that's my meeting day and at the end of the day um, i'm gonna have to try to fit in those videos but i'm not gonna leave you hanging guys it's just gonna to be postponed just a bit okay um what what else do we have to say here uh bitcoin looking good bitcoin is looking good ta is being respected that's all we can um really uh hope for now we talked about the wake off distribution we can keep an eye on that an, uh, at another uh, later date but right now i am aggressively tracking this pattern and i'm hoping that eventually we break out bullish so we can get into a nice trade to the upside all right guys let's take a look at optimism what is Opt optimism doing right now optimism has retraced we gotta admit if you bought we're buying into optimism really early on guys congratulations Congratulations, because you had some really good opportunities to take profits off the top. Now, if you don't take profits, especially on new projects, you get volatility and you have to be prepared to take profits. That's the way you're going to pr protect your gains, because it's not just about protecting capital. It's about protecting gains, right? If you bought here at the bottom and you didn't take profits here at the top, pretty much you wasted your time. So that's why, um, for me, I looked at this area as the greatest profit-taking opportunity. 3.25 cents, 3.26 cents is where I gave the signal to take profits. Guys, you can go check out my previous videos on Optimism and all the other projects that I cover on a daily basis. Go check them out because I'm either covering Optimism live or in a specialized video very, very early on. Um, all the way down here, we've been ca calling shots all over the place. I don't even know where it is right now, but I know I covered it really early um actually when is it when i covered it i might have already missed it. right here two months ago okay two months ago we called it and we were like okay let's prepare this was the time okay this was the time we saw this scenario bearish divergence huge bearish divergence and we got the follow-through now that we got the follow-through is it time to reaccumulate okay this is the thing here is that you can see that the daily rsi has came down to an oversold scenario the oversold scenario means that it is a healthy place to potentially dollar cost average, okay? We fell through the gap pretty aggressively. We identified this as the gap. We identified the fact that the RSI will, the EMA will eventually plateau and go sideways. And guess what? It's doing it exactly as we um, suggested. This is what it's doing. We fell below the 200 daily. Now we even back test the 200 da daily as confirmation and we're continuing to the downside. Now it's about trying not to catch a falling knife. The good news is, is that we're already get, getting side, signs of bullish divergence on the daily. On the daily, daily uh, signals are a lot more reliable than lower time frame signals so that's a good thing as long as on the daily we do not create a lower low on the rsi uh guys it's valid we are currently potentially uh, gonna get a confirmation on this bullish divergence right of course we can continue going down right but we got to keep an eye on here if we get a bounce with a little bit of you know conviction price action gives us that confirmation guys it looks like this is a divergence why rsi is moving upwards while the price action is still coming down Okay, so eventually we should expect a reaction that we roll roll up to the upside and potentially hit this trend line. Now, this trend line is, you know, not drawn how I usually do. I usually include wicks, but you know what? It's okay. Leave it there for now. At the end of the day, you can see that we do have the top of the volume gap. We do have this gap here still. And what I'm going to do is readjust a little bit. 
and you can see that the weak zones are still very evident. Look at this weak spot right here in the chart. And then if I drag this one over, you can also see that there is a weak spot here in the chart. This volume right here is still a little bit weak. Okay, based on previous price action, you can see that this is a strength, a very strong area. And so is this one. Um, this was maybe mid strength, but we fell right through it. We didn't even, we barely regarded it as uh, support, right? So in this case, if you look left, you also have a huge cluster of supply and demand, right? You have these tops acting as support currently, one, two, right? Uh, we also have some tops here and some bottoms. So this is the zone, in my opinion, where it's acceptable to take some risk because it's all about risk management. Fibonacci wise, uh, we did get a retracement. What kind of retracement is it? Let's take a look by scooching this over. We're looking at a 786, 786 retracement uh, so far. Uh, we fell below the golden pocket 618 and now we're touching that 786. For me, that's you know, a great retracement. Um, if you're taking this as the bottom, you could take this as the absolute bottom. Good luck with that. But if you're doing that, you're wearing, right now we're at the golden pocket. Okay, so either way, uh, decent opportunity. Golden pocket, statistically speaking, suggests that we should get that reversal. Okay, now, um, so I'm looking at this, either it being a 786 or a golden pocket retracement. In fact, I would, wouldn't would mind considering this because it's the swing low, the actual low low. Um, it would be very healthy to say that this was the bottom, right? Obviously, this is not a bottom. This would be um, a higher high, a higher low, higher low, higher low. And here we are, golden pocket retracement, healthy, healthy retracements with some tops to act as support going forward. So that's what I'm saying here, guys. We have the trend line that we got multiple touches, at least four, one, two, uh, three, many touches, many touches. And currently we are touching it and respecting it as we speak. So a lot of confluence here, tons and tons of confluence to potentially be to deploying, uh, uh, you know, capital at optimism currently. Okay. So at $1 and 38 cents is a decent time to start DCing and uh, building a position. Now, if we stick here with the daily, you can see the R size looking great. The MACD, not so much. Okay, we got an EMA cross to the downside with red histogram bars, which means that we could be continuing to the downside. The only thing that you have to uh, understand is, is that the MACD is a lagging indicator and it does take some time to actually show the price action uh, or the momentum um, basically correlating with the price action. So this could be a, a couple hours delayed. In this case, it's still looking bearish when in fact it should be looking bullish. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Now let's get into lower time frames. Let's use the four hour to see if we can get a good entry. And guys, it's looking great. It's looking super great. Why? The RSI is at the bottom of the range. You can see oversold territory again, right? It came oversold here and it kind of faked us out and came down again oversold again with this bullish divergence intact okay from this bottom and that bottom at critical levels of support based on trend and volume gap look at the macd macd is crossing to the upside um yeah ema crossing almost getting that full cross and one or two maybe little histogram bars beginning of green histogram bars here nothing really you know bullish just yet but it's the beginning of a potential rally to the upside so pay attention with that one because it's looking good so far Guys, even the four hours looking healthy, the daily is looking healthy. And at this point, I, again, I'm going to conclude by saying it's not a bad time to buy the dip in DCA on this project. It could be one of the, the major players in the, in the uh, up and coming bull run for the mere fact that it's a new project and new projects tend to get a lot of hype, a lot of FOMO marketing dollars are there um and at the end of the day a lot of people looking to claim their piece of the pie are definitely going to take advantage of this by the dip opportunity so healthy retracements guys are meant to be bought look for red days and dollar cost average and this is why optimism right now is at a good place all right guys thank you for stopping by if you haven't yet do the channel a huge favor and slap that like button if um, the support is greatly appreciated if you want to follow me on the socials the links are in the description below feel free to join that telegram group and don't forget i'm live at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action take care guys have a good one and don't forget buy the dip